Hey guys, Luke here, and we're back. This is the round 25 preview. We're going to start off with Thursday Night Football, and it's between the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Let's get into the team lineups. So we have Parrott, Thompson, Morris, Lafayette, Brown, Umbai, Hawkinson, Tolman, Ennis, Graham, Jackson, Williams, and Eastwood. The bench is Matua, Fanukin, Clemmer, O'Hanlon, and Alatoa. And he's 20th man. Rabbitohs lineup is as follows. Inglis, Johnston, Walker, Alvaro, Takiri, Kiri, Reynolds, Burgess, or George Burgess, um, Luke, Tyrrell, Turner, McQueen, and Sam Burgess, and the bench is Clark, Lowe, Luke Burgess, Tom Burgess, and then Goodwin and Picker, 18th and 19th man. So if you look at the form from the previous um, few games, you'd say Rabbitohs pretty good until oh, last week. Um, last week uh, really exposed them kind of... Um, Bear in mind that they didn't play very well themselves, and Cowboys were almost uh, perfect at stages throughout the game. But Rabbitohs, um, we got shown how to beat the Rabbitohs. You just have to bash them in the forwards and, um, and kick to the corners. Um, and kick to the, You have to like really execute well with the kicking, but to stop English and stuff, you need to kick to the corners so he has no uh, space to work with. And also, like with the Rabbitohs forwards, when it's time to step up with the forwards, you just need to bash them. Um, and obviously, they're missing their better forwards. Apart from, I know that George Burgess is back this week. Um, he'll be a big help. But in the same time, still missing um, like Tio and stuff. And um, it's tough when you got a few injuries. Um, Reynolds also went down with an injury last week. Uh, whether or not he plays this week uh, remains to be seen. But it looks like he will. Um, but he's going to get tested out. Um, you would think. Umbai still at the five eight position, doing a pretty nice job. If I had to say so myself. Um, I mean, while not being outstanding, he's he's doing the job, and that's what he that's what he needs to do. Uh, Josh Morris looked um, pretty average last week, but um, as I've been saying to other people, um, right now he's not in the side to be his attacking, um, be a t an attacking force like he has in the past. He's there because um, we've tried Chris Nunu, we've tried a few different people in the centres, and they just can't defend without Josh Morris in there. Um, so the Tigers game, they just went straight down his side where Inu was defending, um, which is where Josh Morris usually is, and got obliterated. So um, Josh Morris being there just ties up the defence, which is what we really need to do, because the way the Bulldogs win games, we're not expecting Josh Morris to be running 100 le metre length, um, length of field tries um, this year. May have, uh, in like 2012 and all the other years, he uh, would have been required to do that, but this stage, a lot of the tries get scored from little set plays about 20 metres out at all on the try line, that sort of stuff with the wingers. Um, but yeah, uh, Morris is really important. If he goes down with injury, it's going to be really tough for the Bulldogs to win, regardless of his knee, um, whether he's at full fitness or not. He just needs to be in the side, just for defence alone. But with that being said, his defence, he might get shown up a little bit here with Dylan Walker or Avao. I'm not sure who's up against him, but uh, both of those dudes are pretty quick. Walker in particular, um, very evasive. Um, got shown last week. It was kind of specula speculation whether Morris was 100%. Last week got confirmation that he's not 100%. So um, they might want to take advantage of that. Um, he seemed to be able to step properly. They said it was strapping, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can trust them or not, but whatever. But Walker up against him, if he is up against him, would be devastating. Wells Inglis, just um, speedy on the outside of him. He usually has a speed that speed and strength where um, you can't get around him, but um, he might not have that speed anymore. Strength will definitely be there, but the speed might not be. But if I had to say what are the key matchups, uh, well, Burgess up against Eastwood is a good one, and also you could argue Bur um, the other Burge sorry Sam Burgess up against Eastwood, and then James Graham up against George Burgess, two Englishmen. Um, and then Eastwood in there. I mean, both four packs or well, Bulldogs have the better four pack. Um, but Sam Burge is probably a better player than all the Bulldogs players, but Bulldogs overall have got a better four pack, I think. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be one and loss in the halves, to be honest. Whether Hawkinson and Umbai can apply a good game plan. Um, yeah, kicking to the corners, like I said earlier. Just pretty much the kicks need to have to be on point at this stage. And same for uh, Kieran Reynolds, they need to um, do their job, and then let, then Inglis can take control. Um, later on when they get further down the field. That's all i got to say. I think the Bulldogs will win this. Um, obviously, the Bulldogs supporters are going to be some bias there, but just my opinion. Uh, I'm going to say 1-12. to 12. Uh, Last game, it was a one-point win, and I can see it being a similar sort of affair this game. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment um, on who you think will win.
Alright, see you guys. Bye.